All right, let's see what happens here. All right, are we live? I think we're going live. Well, Ingalls in the house, I'm in my house. And yeah, we are live. Hi, El Ingalls here. I am doing a special little program for you tonight. Let me pop up my slides here. Um, I gotta bring this down, hold on just a sec. Uh, I wanna teach you tonight how to keep yourself free of illness, how to keep yourself healthy, no matter what the chaos is going on in the world. And um, this is gonna be really powerful. So I want you to just uh, sit back. Let me share my screen here with you. And uh, if you're coming on the replay, thanks so much for watching this. Um, this is actually going to be an abbreviated little webinar that I did uh, a couple of weeks ago. But I just heard some stuff today and I, and I thought I got to do this again for you. So this is the fastest way to protect yourself from illness. It's faster than washing your hands or wearing a mask. It's, um, it's really important for you to get this information because uh, it could it could really change your life or someone else's if you share it too. So feel free to share this out with anybody. If you're on your phone, on your magic box, just grab the link and you can privately share it to someone. So let's see. There we go. You're in the right place if the threat of illness has you feeling a little anxious. If you've been under the weather already this year, so you sort of feel like your immune system might be a little compromised. You already have a chronic illness. So if you have heart disease, diabetes, an autoimmune disease, any kind of disease that um, is chronic is always happening for you. Um, this is a great place to be to watch this webinar. And you're in the right place if you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. In this training, you'll discover why you could be doing everything right and still become ill. The fastest way to prevent illness simple tools to get you started, and how to ensure your success. If you stay to the end, I'm gonna have a free gift for you too. I used to get sick many times a year. Whatever was going around, I would catch it and seem to have it worse than anybody else. I had chronic skin issues, but since 2010, when I created the pressure-free method that I'm gonna teach you in this webinar, I've rarely been ill. In fact, in 10 years now, I have been ill a total of five times, three in the first two years. And so in the last eight years, I've only had two small colds, that's it. And I used to be ill all the time. So it was a huge breakthrough for me to have my immune system finally working for me in a good way. Have you ever felt like the images on the news are causing you to feel a little nervous? Like if you just simply see, see some of the news today or hear some of the news, it can cause you to trigger the stress hormones. It can cause you to go into fight or flight, just watching it. So do you ever feel a little nervous? Have you ever felt like you took really good care of yourself, but you still got sick? That was me. I thought I was taking really good care of myself. I exercised, I ate, but there was something still missing. And that missing piece is what I'm gonna share you, with you. Have you ever been worried that someone you love is gonna become ill? I was hearing that today at church. A lot of people really concerned, especially for older relatives. Then this is for you. This is for you. First of all, you need to be open to trying a new approach. So beware of the, I know this already syndrome. Kind of let that go um, and really, really just stay open to what I'm gonna teach you tonight. This is for you if you believe that your health is important. And this is for you if you're ready to take some action. All right, I want you to get really comfortable. So take off your belt, your shoes, your watch, your tie, your bra, whatever you need to get comfy. And let's dive in. Heart, hamstrings, head, your feet. How you hold your body is the first step to keeping yourself well. If you're holding your body, I'm gonna turn sideways here for a moment so you can see me. If you're holding your body in a C curve, I used to have horrific posture and I work on it every day. But this kind of thing where you have no lumbar support and your head is forward like this, you're putting your immune system at risk. You're actually dropping your body's ability to perform significantly. So I want you to get really wide with this space here. Go wide, don't pinch your shoulders back, but go wide with them. 
pull your butt back and sit on your hamstrings so you're very springy. Most chairs aren't designed right, by the way. Get your head up off of your little phone or whatever, get, bring it up here and look out to the horizon. And then if, you're, if your shoes are off, get your feet, the tops of your feet really soft and your toes really down on the ground. Get grounded, okay? That's gonna help you right away. So maybe you're doing everything right already. You're washing your hands a lot, you're sanitizing. By the way, too much sanitizing is gonna compromise your immune system. Those chemicals were never meant to be near the human body. You'll, act, you'll actually build fat cells. Your precursor fat cells, instead of turning into something they should, will turn into fat cells if you're around too much of that nasty stuff. So you could sanitize all day and still if you touch your face, then that's how you're gonna contaminate yourself. So stop touching your face and wash your hands. It's really all you need to do. Don't worry about the extra sanitizing stuff. It's not gonna help you because <laughs> it only takes like one, picking up one thing like a pen. <laughs> uh, you don't need a mask either. Just stop touching your face, okay? Um, eating really well is important, definitely. Exercise is, is really important too. However, you could be doing all that and still missing this one piece. Oh, a couple things about washing your hands. First of all, make sure you don't stress about it. If you stress about it, you're gonna drop your immune system up to 40%. So don't stress about the hand washing thing or the sanitizing or the mask or anything. Any of that is gonna cause you to actually have a weaker immune system and make you prone for, to illness. Another thing is if you have long fingernails, chop your fingernails off. I'm a violinist, so my fingernails are like never long. Um, cut your fingernails and clean under them. Long fingernails are full of germs. <laughs> don't touch your face, don't pick your nose either. And the fa face mask, you've probably already heard this, but if you haven't, it mainly helps you if you are the ill one, okay? Or um, if you're like a hy dental hygienist, it protects you from sprays and splashes, okay? Um, so I think the image alone kind of causes people to feel anxious when they see people with masks on. So stop watching the news if you have to. You don't have to watch it. You could listen to it if you want, or just turn it off altogether because anything that's gonna cause you to get a little bit of anxious, a little bit anxious is gonna drop your immunity. Eating well, okay, great thing to do for many reasons. Make sure to breathe, eat slowly, chew each, that should be each mouthful a lot, drink water 20 minutes before or after, but not during. And if you're stressed, the nutrients have a hard time reaching your cells. So again, the number one thing we need to do is help you stay free of triggering that fight or flight stress response because you're starting to feel a little anxious or even angry at what's going on. Uh, exercise moderation is really key. Don't jack into too high of a heart rate or your body's immune system is gonna drop too low. Breathe clean air, make sure you don't overreact to loud sounds or annoyances while you're out there. Yoga, again, moderation is key. Breathe clean air. A lot of yoga studio air is not very clean. So, you know, get some windows open. Make sure you don't overreact to loud sounds or annoyances. And a lot of people aren't even going into public spaces. So maybe you're doing your yoga at home. The fastest way to prevent illness is to stop the release of stress hormones. If you don't do this, then all your other efforts are barely making a difference. That's because when you trigger the fight or flight stress hormones, it disrupts every body process that you do. You can't digest your food well. You can't then get it out to your cells. So your cells start to get weak. Bacteria, viruses, all of that thrive in an acidic body and you create an acidic body when you go into fight or flight. So the whole key to staying well is to not trigger the fight or flight stress response. These stress hormones, adrenaline is the, actually they're called catecholamines. You're, it's a cocktail. And the thing is, if you're a guy on the other side of the screen, it's gonna take you a really long time, not up to nine hours before you're free of these and up to 24 hours if you're a female. So your immune system's gonna drop up to 40%, digestive system's off. Your heart, of course, is gonna be compromised. Your athletic ability and your ability to heal, that drops up to 40% as well. This is just a quick slide of a lot of different effects. Maybe you already feel some of this. Are you going to the bathroom a lot because you're a little on edge or nervous? 
that's a sure sign that you're triggering too much of these fight or flight stress hormones, okay? So again, nine hours and 24 hours is too long to be compromising our cells, our body processes. So you've got to get clear of these stress hormones and it's gonna take some action on your part because look, nine hours and 24 hours for you to not be thinking very well, for your body and mind to not be working very well, that's a long time. We have to break that cycle. That's what we do here at the pressure, at pressure free living. So we break that cycle. Otherwise you're constantly at risk. So it's time to power up. These are simple steps to get you started here. First, what stories do you tell yourself? I just don't have time to eat right. I just have a bad immune system. I always catch everything. That's what I used to say. I don't have time to get healthy. I've never been a good sleeper. Are these some stories that you tell yourself like on a regular basis? Let's start to switch them around. What's your new story? It takes a second to grab an apple. My immune system is stronger every day. I'm going to be just fine. It's easy to get healthy in seconds. I'm going to show you how. I'm in control of my own DNA. However much I sleep will be just fine. If you have chronic sleep anxiety, then please, please get in touch with me so we can help you with that. Sleep is so important to staying healthy. And so many people today are really, really anxious because they're not getting enough sleep. And that anxiety is the thing causing you to not sleep. So targets, your why. Why do you wanna live with less stress? Why do you wanna be healthier? Why do you wanna be able to have a health, what do you wanna be able to do with your healthier body? How exactly do you wanna look, live, and why? So I want you to write down just a couple of things. What is your why? Maybe you just wanna stay free of a certain thing going around. Maybe you just wanna make sure that this is starting to really work well for you because you're on a big mission. Maybe you need to find some new ways to be doing things in your life because the old ways aren't working. So what are your targets? Step two, triggers, your what? When, when do you overreact? When do you tend to overreact? Is it when you're watching the news? You feel yourself getting keyed up and nervous? Like when is it gonna hit your state or your city? What or who makes you overreact? What makes you feel annoyed or angry? What do you worry about? Who or what makes you feel anxious? And what are you ashamed of? So again, I want you to write down just a couple of these triggers that are top of mind right now. Like the news is making me crazy, <laughs> you know, or my candidate is out or whatever it is that's going on for you. Your what, what are some of your triggers? Tools, your how to. I have three kinds of tools in my courses that I teach, body tools, mind tools, and life design tools. Today, I'm just gonna teach you just a couple to get you started. The first is what I call the celebration Ferris wheel. It's a very profound neuroscience tool to help you stop overreacting and releasing these stress hormones. The only time you need to release the fight or flight stress response is if you're truly under attack, like you need to fight something or run away. Well, we're not gonna be running away from the stuff that's coming around us right now. So you've got to be able to gain emotional resilience so you don't overreact. Does that make sense? So you need to gain emotional resilience, which is really tough for people today because we live in a very stressed society <laughs> and no one's taught you this. No one's taught you to be emotional resilient. That's what we do here. So here's some real tricks to get you started. This celebration Ferris wheel I have is, it combines three kinds of tools. It's a large motion, which actually interrupts your normal habit of reaction so you can create a new one. So you're literally retraining your brain out of some old habits that you have, some old beliefs you have that are not helping you. And if you do a big motion, your brain says, wow, I'm doing something new. You can actually start to plant the seeds of a new habit. Very, very profound, but very simple. So I have you pretend you have a Ferris wheel in front of your face and you just push. Very silly thing to do, so hopefully you'll smile. Do it again with me, so push up and leave your hands up there and now bring them back down, but keep your body in the same position. And you notice that you lifted your body up a little bit, like you were getting up and over a line. You're getting up and your posture improved. Posture is another huge stress management tool. 
three tools combined into one. And I call it the celebration Ferris deal because I super want you to celebrate. If you see a trigger like the newscast and you don't overreact, you push up, maybe you push slowly, maybe you push quickly, whatever works for you. And you keep yourself up and over the situation. So you're looking down on it and you're not overreacting. You're not getting sucked into the muck. Does that make sense for you? That you're going to stay up and, and hold on to your maturity and all of your resources to not trigger the fight or flight stress response. How will you know if you've triggered it? Maybe your hands turn sweaty, your face turns red, you start leg jiggling. I was just at a huge conference of amazing people. So many people on the stage had their legs jiggling. Sure sign that they trigger fight or flight. Sure sign. Bonus tool, flip the switch to change your story. So I had you consider like, what is your old story? Mine used to be, oh, I catch everything that goes around. So of course I'm gonna catch this. That was my old story. Now my new story is, I'm, I'm have a really rocking immune system and I'm gonna be just fine. So that's my new story. So here's a quick way to get your new story really solidifying in for you. I call it flip the switch and it's like there's a light switch on your head and you wanna keep the lights on because the moment we go into fight or flight, we shut off this thing called dopamine and we don't feel so good and we can't think very well. So again, it's emotion, flip the switch, get that switch back on, on your head, smile. And then I use the slogan, caught you. So it's like, I'm looking up into my brain saying, caught you talking negatively. I'm not gonna go there. And then here's the, the real trick to it. Ask yourself a question that powers you towards solution. I call it an empowering question. How can I, what can I, how can I stay healthy? How can I not overreact here? How can I stay totally rock solid with my immune system? How can I prevent illness? How can I be fine? So ask yourself questions like that. Your brain absolutely loves questions and it's going to search and search to find the answers. It will keep you healthy on purpose because you just asked it to. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but it, it actually affects your very DNA. When I say you're gonna affect your very DNA, you do when you ask one of these empowering questions instead of, oh my God, um, am I gonna get this? You know, the, the questions that take you negatively. So move toward an empowering question. What can you do? You can relax your abs. The moment you relax your abs, you can actually prevent the stress response. Now here's the trick. You need to do all of these things in the first 10 seconds that you're starting to feel the tension or starting to get the bad news or starting to watch a show that's taking you in a negative direction. You have these 10 seconds before your heart rate can charge high enough to release the adrenaline flood. You can relax your abs. You can take a moment to breathe slowly. You can pet yourself and that's when you actually go down the tops of your arms and down your thighs. Don't go up, just down. And that's gonna be very soothing. Or do your hair, <laughs> pet yourself, comfort yourself. You can flip the switch on your negative thoughts. You can turn off the news and you can push your Ferris wheel. So I just gave you like, boom, 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 several tools. In my, in my intro course, I have over 40. <laughs> this keeps going from there. But here's something you can use right away. I always go straight to relax my abs and pushing Ferris wheel or flipping switch. Those are some of my favorites, but you'll come up with your own too. So notice when you're getting tense, use the 10 second solution to prevent stress hormone release. Use pressure-free tools like relaxing your abs, smiling, the Ferris wheel, and flip the switch. Again, push your celebration Ferris wheel. Or you can take a three point shot if you don't like, we're getting up to March Madness here. If you don't like Ferris wheels, go ahead and take a three point shot. Anything to get your arms up and emotion going with your body. So in this training, I've shared the fastest way to stay well, how to uncover those stories that are not helping you that you need to switch up. And I taught you the pressure free method in a very short, very quick, um, fast way here to get you started because I care about you and I want you to be healthy. So take what you've learned and start applying it. I want you to do that. 
And you can also take the next step, learning, integrating, and mastering the pressure-free method. And I can guide you. I created something called Pressure Free You. This is like a rocking, amazing way for you to get started with Pressure Free and have it really work for you. It's a subscription. So you pay 97 a month and you have daily things delivered right to you through your email that you choose. And um, you're gonna get access to every single one of the courses that I've put together, which is gonna be so powerful for you. And every day I send you this simple little message that keeps you remembering to use the pressure-free method each and every day in your life. My clients who use these tools that I've created here are just having unbelievable success. They're speaking from stages, they're flying all over the place, they're doing things and they're not afraid. They've gained that emotional resilience so that they can really do things in the world without being afraid without being anxious and without getting angry. So take a look at Pressure For You. Um, just message me if you're on here on Facebook and I can get you the link and I'll put it down here um, a little later after I get off the show here for you. So your time is now. I want you to keep your momentum going. If you wanna to talk to me, actually have a pressure-free strategy session with me, I want you to secure a time with me at speakwithl.com. That's my online calendar that I share for you to find a block of time to talk with me. So um, I, I really enjoy learning about you and learning what works and doesn't work for you and what you wanna change up. We will discover that together. So we can see if pressure-free tools and pressure-free, uh, the pressure-free method is a good fit for you to help you with your situations. So speakwithl.com, pressure-free you. We're on a mission here to pressure-free the world. So spread our message, help us, like heart this, send this out. If you're on the replay, thanks so much for coming on. Um, I really appreciate it. And I'm gonna sign off for the night. This is just a quick one, just to get you going and um, just let you know that there is a fast way to get your immune system rocking and you can start using it right now, right today. Have a great day. Bye.